Hi right, guys, welcome back. Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. Barbecue right, the way of life, folks. Today we're doing a product review day on the old pit bosses. Modification, folks. There we go. Yeah, as you see, I got all diamond grates. I got these new ones on the bottom here. No Victor. These are awesome little pits. Or little grates, I mean. You're probably asking yourself, well, I just buy a brand new pit. Well, why do I gotta do it? You don't have to do this, you don't want to, folks, but it makes your grill look cool. People have been modifying stuff forever. We're just gonna coat this with some cooking oil. I'm gonna leave a full list of uh, how to properly do this the right way. This is just the way I do it. I'm gonna coat this up. <coughs> I'll leave a link for Joe Victor down below. He makes awesome. This is heavy duty. This will last you a lifetime, folks. Just keep her clean and oil. You don't have to worry about it rusting. If you strip all the oil off, of course it's going to rust, folks. That. Now you see this top one I've had for a long time, folks. It's not rusty. I still got to modify my pull out here a little bit. There you go. And it pulls out. See, it's not rusty. All I do is I cook on it, I scrape her, and then I cook on it. You ever watch barbecue shows? That. They never clean their grates. Just keep spraying that with some oil. We're going to bump up the temperature. That's either $90 plus shipping. I'll leave Joe Victor's thing down there, but hey, okay, look how cool your uh, Lexington's gonna look, folks. It'll be nice and seasoned like this one. I, I've had this one for almost a year. You've seen me use it in my videos many times. You do not rust. See any rust on there, folks? Keep them clean, keep them oiled. They'll last a long time, folks. After we season these grates up, we're gonna throw some burgers on here, make some smoked burgers. We got a lot of requests on how to. Don't want to leave your lid open very long, though, for, for uh, how to make smoked burger. Now we're going to kick this up to 350. We're just going to keep seasoning this with some oil. I'll bring you back here in a little bit. But look, folks, look how cool that is. Look how cool that looks. Now there's nothing. There's not, nothing wrong with the stock grates. But, a true pit master ain't afraid to modify his barbecue pit. I spend thousands of dollars on new pits and I'm not afraid to chop holes in them, put new racks on them, and drill a hole here, drill a hole there. That's what a pit master does, folks. You buy a new car or truck, yeah, you want to put on new rims, new tires. Right, I'll bring you back in a little bit, another hour, see how it goes. It's been about an hour. Remember, they're going to be hot. See how they're taking on a different color? I get my fat finger in there. Ooh. We're going to take them out. We're going to spray them a little more. Top and bottom. Now Joe Victor makes these grates for any type of barbecue, not just uh, the Pit Boss Lexington. I had one made for my Weber smoke fire. That's still an amazing little thing. We're just going to coat that good with oil. Alright, you get the idea. I'll leave the full full curing process down below in the show me more notes section hey why not modify your pit that's what pit masters do that's what a true pit master does it takes an expensive pit and modifies it like we do anything else hey you don't have to if you don't want to they're not raw the original grates you know you cut a little hole in the side here it slides in and out I do most of my cooking on the top rack, but today we're going to throw some burgers on here. All right. Anyways, you get the idea. They're 
last forever. They won't rust. Just keep them oiled. Keep them clean. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll leave all the information down below.